What up, what up, guys? Your boy Rico here, late night grind. Um, it's actually about 2 a.m. right now, just just getting home, looking for some parking. But you guys right now, parking in New York City sucks. But um, what I wanted to do was kind of just drop some bombs, drop some late night nuggets on you. Whoever is still up, grinding out, putting in the work, focused on your dreams, shout outs to you. But um, I want to give you guys kind of my mindset and, and how I rock, you know, day in and day out, how I do my presentations, how I close through and close, everything like that. The mindset that I have going in right off the bat is simply go for no. Go for no. Right. And, and the reason being is, you know, I know I come off a little strong sometimes, you know, I, I'm very straight to the point. Um, you know, I like to get things done. You know, what I'm saying less talk, more action. But at the same time, this is the way I see it. You can never say the wrong thing to the right person. And what do I mean by that? What, what I mean is right off the bat, you're going to have people that literally are never going to do anything in life. And you got to understand that you can't save everybody. Right. Some people are content with where they're at. Some people are content with how they're going to be living. Some people are content with being broke. And that's perfectly fine. You can't save everybody. But what we're looking for, we're not looking for those people. We're looking for the people that are hungry, that are motivated, that, that want to see this from the jump. And the crazy thing is you can't say the wrong thing to the right person because all the person has to do is see the information. Once they see the information, it clicks automatically to them. It clicks. And when it clicks, they get started, they plug in, and they get to work. You see, I got so many people that come back to me, you know, and they say like, damn, man, you know, you know, they, they go MIA for a bit and then they come back and, yo, Rico, man, I really want this, man, you know, but I just been so busy. You don't want it. You don't want it because if you wanted it, you would have made it happen. If you wanted it, you would have made it happen. You see, when I go into every presentation, when I go into anything, my mindset is go for it. No, I run through the numbers as fast as possible. Anyone on my team knows this and this is what I do, what I try to, you know, duplicate and teach is that. At the end, at the end of the day, we're not looking to beg anyone to join. We're not looking to convince anybody to join. I don't even show this opportunity to a person more than one time. Why? Because there's over 20 million people in this in, in New York City right now, in New York right now, right? Over 20 million people in New York. Why would I ever need to show somebody this, this opportunity more than once? You either see the numbers or you don't. You want to know how we get paid? You get 8 to 12 people on your team, you make $500 residual. You want to know how the service works? You put your money to work for you. You plug into the system, put your money to work for you. If you don't make money in six months, you get a triple money back guarantee. It doesn't get much simpler than that. It really doesn't. Anything beyond that point, you, know, you want to ask, how does this work? How does that work? How does this work? How does that point? It's, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant to me, right? Because you got you to gotta get down to the nitty gritty at the end of the day, guys. It's either you're hungry or you're not. When you're hungry, you eat. When you're not hungry, you starve. You sit there and you starve. You watch everybody else eat. All the lions up top, traveling, having fun, doing what they got to do, making the post, building the organizations, going global, right? At the end of the day, this is what it is, guys. It's not about the person who gets the most yeses. From here to convention, you know, in, in, in freaking Vegas or from here to the end of 2016, the person that wins is not going to be the person that, that signs the most people, that gets the most recruits, Right? It's not going to be that person. The person that wins is going to be the person that shows the opportunity to the most amount of people. Because at the end of the day, even if you went out and you showed every single body you know, and they all told you no, they're going to be watching you. Prime example, right? When new people come to the business, and this is the difference between, you know, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, my mindset and a brand new person's mindset, right? The average person comes in with the mindset that they have to that they have to, I thought I had a parking spot, have to, um, you know, get their three people. And what they do is they focus so much on three people. Everything has to be perfect. How am I going to show this person? Who am I, who am I going to do it with? How can I do this right? Is this person going to sign up? Is that person going to sign up? Is this person going to tell me no? I'm not going to show this person because of this. I'm not going to show this person because of that. And while they're killing themselves, a day goes by, a week goes by, a month goes by, and they're still focused on getting their three people. And while they're focused on trying to convince those three people to join, I showed out, I already went out and showed 300 people. So now here's the difference because December comes right? December comes and it's cold. It's cold here in New York. I hate the cold, right? And when December comes, here's going to be the difference between me and the person that's so focused on trying to get three, right? I showed 300 people. I, I have now have 300 people that know what I do for a living. Meanwhile, you have three people that you show the business to and one told you yes. So you spent all that time trying to collect one yes. I have 300 people that know what I'm doing. I have 300 people that told me no and what that no means is just not right now. 
That's what that means because as the months go by, one by one, they're going to be watching me. They're going to see us travel. They're going to see us, you know, our, our results come in with the simplifier, the hands-free trade. They're going to see the results come in with, you know, with the trigger alerts. They're going to see us on the pit rooms, right? They're going to see us at convention. They're going to see us having fun. They're going to see us making money. They're going to see us putting a whole bunch of people onto this deal. 300 people. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you out of those 300, at least 100 will eventually get started. It's a numbers game, guys. It's a numbers game. It's not about how many people you're able to sign up. It's about how many people you're able to show the business to. And if you're killing yourself looking for those yeses, instead of going for no's, you're going to kill yourself thinking paralysis by overanalysis. How can I get this yes? How can I get this yes? How can I make this? Make sure this person signs up? Go for no's. You go for no's, you get the most results, I guarantee you guys. Obviously, you want to be doing it the right way. Show the deal the right way, but go for no. Yes or no, I got to go. You ready to get started? Yes or no. You ready to get started? Yes or no. You ready to get started? Yes or no. No? Okay, cool. Next. Okay, cool. Next. Because every no you get gets you that much closer to a yes. So, where we go, guys? Late night grind. Um, I think my camera cut off a few times because I, I got a uh, low memory here. But, let's get it, guys. Peace out.